it's 256, 55.8 degrees on July 27th. That's day 115. I'm going to wake up and get down to Etna. Okay, good morning again, folks. It is 417, 54.6 degrees. I actually left camp about 10 minutes ago um, at 407, but it's like a... Not, not super treacherous, but just something you want to pay attention to, like a little bit of a rock scramble um, to uh, to get up to where that lake is uh, from the PCT, so just had to do that in reverse, and it's always a little more tricky coming down than going up, but especially <laughs> in the dark with fresh le jelly legs in the morning. But um, yeah, really, really happy I, I stopped over there last night. Just a beautiful spot. Definitely one of those one of those things where it's like, especially at this point in the hike, you really start, sort of at least me, I should say, I really start feeling sort of that pressure to move, 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 go, go, go. You know, get through, get through, get through. But um, you always gotta kind of check that, at least I always gotta kind of check that, you know, and kind of keep reminding myself that I'm not out here to get to Canada. It would have been a lot easier for me to just buy a plane ticket. Um, kind of got to take take the time to enjoy some of the real beautiful spots so that one definitely qualified Bingham Lake what a stop um, did sleep pretty good I did put in my earplugs because there's a decent number of other folks around and I tend to run earlier hours both in the morning and in the evening than most folks so um, but it was fine I mean no one no one was rude or anything just you know just they keep later hours than I do so um, slept pretty well definitely slept pretty well luckily that chipmunk didn't wind up bothering me too much last night especially with the earplugs in again I always never bring food into my tent um, so there should be no odors or wrappers or crumbs or anything in my tent which might attract them um, but I did get some condensation last night which I was kind of curious if I might and I did not a ton nothing bad but uh, probably enough that if I were gonna be out in the backcountry tonight, I'd probably try and find a sunny place to pitch up and dry out um, during during lunch or something, have a little midday stop. But uh, I don't really have to worry about that today because fewer than 15 miles from Etna, probably about 11 or 12 at this point. Uh, looking forward to getting there. Looks like there's both a distillery and a brewery in Etna. Can you imagine? Oh my goodness, trouble, trouble, trouble. Anyways, um, we'll kind of see. How it all goes, if it's four o'clock now, what, excuse me, whatever, 4.20, 4.30, something like that. Um, should hopefully be to the highway by, so almost certainly by nine, I'd hope. But I do have a uh, scalable amount of elevation gain today, so it's not necessarily the cruisiest day ever, but it shouldn't be treacherous. So uh, by scalable amount of elevation, I guess what I mean is um, an amount of, uh, vertical ele elevation gain which is um, scalable to what I had yesterday so not super concerned anyways I'll get hiking I'll talk to you guys later
morning again, folks. 57 degrees at 8.52, and I'm just making it down to the road, which is the hitch point for Edna. I haven't so much as heard a car since I've been in what I'd perceive as hearing distance of, uh, of the road. Um, so this might be, this might be a really tricky hitch. We can kind of see it down there. Um, yeah, I, I said I was going to be here long before nine and, and, and I would have, but I stopped to have a phone call with my wife. I miss her and she misses me. So I got a little spit of service. I thought I wasn't in any great hurry. Gave her a call and just had a quick little, just a quick little chat, man. She's a good one. Um, anyways, I am going to get down here to the trailhead. Hopefully have success hitching out. Still not a single car. Um, see how early I can get into town, how many tours I can take care of. Um, I'll probably, I don't know. I guess we'll see whether I check back or not. Place your bets. Well, I guess you already know by the length of the video, but whatever. <laughs> Maybe I'll check back. Hopefully I'll check back. Um, but either way, I'll talk to you guys at some point, either tomorrow or later. All right. Wow, 921. Just made it to Etna. Little blue Toyota there. A gal called Jan. Dude, so I walked down to the, walked down to the, um, the parking lot there at the trailhead and I heard a car coming from the right direction and I just kind of did like the most resigned jog assuming that certainly no one would pick me up um, right away and dude I was doing like the most resigned jog with my heavy pack over towards the road and threw my thumb out and sure enough she just slammed on the brakes <laughs> and kind of pulled over and scooped me up so that was amazing dude I mean I didn't I was I was getting ready to look at my watch and tell you how long how long I was waiting for a hitch, but it was I mean I didn't even start waiting. I didn't even start waiting. That was amazing. Looks like there's a break bakery across the street. I do have a reservation uh, back down at the Bluebird something. I'm gonna get some food and then uh, make my way down there and figure out what we're doing today. All right, I'll check in over here at Bluebird Inn. They have this lovely like hiker hut thing behind me here. Um, just wanted to start on the outside. So it is like a proper B&B inside there, but that ain't got no use for me. In fact, just this year they opened up. I think they've only been open about a month doing this hiker thing. So you can see the clothesline out here. Um, I did also go ahead and take care of washing up these pads on my, on my packs. And so I'm just sitting them up in the sun to try and dry, hopefully. But anyways, the hiker hut, thought I'd give this, give you guys a little tour. Pretty cool little spot, just a little cabin. There's like the Kila Century. Um, there's one gal who's already here, but she didn't want to be in the video, so she just stepped away for a sec. We can see one, two beds. Obviously mine's the one with all the junk on it. Little table, another couple beds, small kitchen area, not, not much going on here, but um, they do have a brand new little laundry machine. Just a little like apartment size laundry machine, which works great. That's where I washed my clothes. I also washed up my kitchen. And then two more bunks. So we got two, four, six beds, as well as a small fridge, small hiker box, and bathroom. Pretty standard sort of stand up, stand up shower situation here. Toilet, sink. Pretty great. So the deal here is 50 bucks. You get a bed. You get a voucher for breakfast over at the bakery in town there. Um, and. Wi-Fi is actually pretty good, like 25 up, 25 down. Um, that's about all I got. So I, I also, uh, just to catch you up, I also went ahead and washed the zipper. They had a, a couple extra toothbrushes here. And so I um, took a toothbrush from and just scrubbed every last inch of the zipper on my Z-Pax Z duplex. Like scrubbed one side and then flipped it over and scrubbed the other side all the way up and down the entire, both zippers on both vestibules. So I'm hoping that that kind of like resolve some of the zipper issues that I've been having with my duplex. Um, if not, I think I have like some zipper lube maybe coming to Ashland or something like that. Um, we'll see, man. One by one, I'm trying to knock out these things that have been driving me crazy. But um, yeah, for now, I'm going to pop back down to town. It is probably like a quarter mile, maybe less than a, probably less than a quarter mile from here to get to like the downtown area. Um, there's a brewery, as I said. There's a distillery, as I said. I didn't say that that brewery does $2 beers all day on Thursday, and they opened at 11. Now it's almost noon, a little past noon. So I've got to check out both those and then um, see if I can't get in touch with the Trail Angel to bring me back to Trail tomorrow. So um, this is going to be my last check into the night. I uh, just wanted to check catch up and show you what's going on. So yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay.